All right, what up y'all? It is Tuesday, which is usually my biggest day because I open the bake shop that I work at part-time and then we load up Charles's Subaru and then we go roast in San Juan Batista and I was gonna film the whole thing for you and I freaking slept in through my alarm. Well, I didn't sleep in through my alarm. My phone came unplugged. It was at like 2% battery. I plugged it in and I think I threw my pillow against the wall or something. Anyway, the cord was out. My alarm never went off and I woke up in a panic. So I called the bake shop and Stacy, who manages the bake shop, accidentally showed up because he thought he had to open. So he was already there. I've never done that before. And I was super, super bummed and felt really dumb. And I was like, oh man, I'm not even gonna film or anything. But then I figured I'm just gonna keep it way too real. I'm gonna film anyway. We're gonna start a little late, head to the bake shop, roast, do the whole day. It's just gonna start at like 7.30 instead of 5.30. So we're headed to Companion Bake Shop, which has hands down the best pastry and bread in all of Santa Cruz. And they're on the west side of town. I work there three days a week, so when I was coming back to Santa Cruz to set up Cat and Cloud, I reached out to Aaron, Stacy, and Michelle and talked to the squad and I was like, I need a little bit of work. They were super tight and were like, yeah, dude, come make bean. Let's do this thing. They let us do our Cat and Cloud pop up there on Mondays because they're closed on Mondays and it's just kind of like a win all the way around there. Currently serving four barrel, which is kind of fun to mess around with other people's coffee and shake it up a little bit. Since I'm late, I'm probably actually not gonna be working the barista shift. I'm gonna be on the line and I'm gonna be slanging pastry, which is all good with me because I get to talk to people and have a good time. Look at this guy. Stacy makes the ripper bean, dude. Moving the chocolate around and stock and chai. You guys think I didn't do this? What? The city is repairing a water pipe, so they shut our water off for two hours. We brewed a ton of coffee in the Cambros, and that's all we got. I found some people. Some of this. Got Nordic I approach. You know. Just getting off of the bake shop. Perry came in, that was a pretty sweet surprise. Check out his channel, The Coffee Scene. He's got some pretty sweet coffee videos. And now I'm gonna head over to Cat and Cloud and we're gonna load the car and we're gonna roast some coffee. Companion and Cat and Cloud are on total opposite sides of town. And even though Santa Cruz isn't very big, there's only a few ways to get through town. So it kind of takes forever to get from the west side to the east side. Jared's here. And then I'm like, we're gonna fuck shit up. And ready. <laughs> we got a uh, ramp, planners. We have a sick green position here. <laughs> Getting weird over here. Charles! Charles is sitting by himself in the back seat of his car across the street in the parking lot. This is the official Cat and Cloud delivery vehicle. Like too much for it. Good. Didn't work. All right, we are in the cuts. I don't even know where we are. We're headed to Vertigo Coffee, which is where we roast all of our coffee for now, which is in San Juan Batista. That's about 45 minutes from Santa Cruz, but in between San Juan Batista and Santa Cruz is all of this stuff. Just so you know what we do to bring coffee to you. We appreciate you. Dude, that's that pizza, dude. We're at the Vertigo. Evan's here, he likes to party. Love partying. You probably Love. seen him pouring some lattes, but not right now. What do you got there? I got an elote. This is a Mexican pastry from a bakery in Hollister, and it is scrumptious. Ooh. The roaster's warming up, and we have to take a picture for Calafia Farms, which is one of our Cat and Cloud Coffee podcast sponsors. Hey. Jerry made a real nice recipe for a smoothie, okay? We'll kind of crest it, I guess. Both in it. <laughs> Plastic 50 mil, basically the best thing ever. It's a oh, yeah, that's thick picture. enough. Dude, I think that's good. I think it looks good too. That's good. Just it. dropped yeah. roast number one in. The roaster's all warmed up and ready to go. Today's not really a web order day. It's more for our pop-up and a little bit of wholesale. So we're just turning and burning. Basically, Jerry roasted all the coffee today, but I had to get my hand on a natural. The Brazil. I had to, to manhandle that Brazil. The Brazil. That's how he took down Heather Perry with Brazil. I'm killing my line right now. This line can't even hang. I'm just destroying it. Oh, that's like a 
line. You just like can't even see it. It's like just hiding behind the other line. Took it a few seconds longer, but look at that bean tim curve. TNL. Living it. Just left Vertigo, headed back to Santa Cruz. All right, just got back from Vertigo, pulled up in my house. It's about 7.30 and had a big roast day. It was awesome. It's a lot of work loading everything in the car and driving it out to San Juan Batista and picking up all the stuff and doing all the packaging on the fly, but the Vertigo crew is rad and they've just kind of made us feel at home. We're just grateful for the opportunity to get to roast and have people be able to taste our coffee, so. Much love to everyone who's got coffee from us. We're feeling it hardcore. Today wasn't super busy. We didn't have a lot of web orders because we do those on the next roast day. So this was just for the cafe. It was easy on the, the packaging and all that stuff. But that's generally my Tuesday. I get up, work bar. Usually I'm not late, but this time I was. Go roast, pack, ship, and then come home. And I got a little bit of time before the sun goes down to just kind of vibe. Today I actually have a bunch of errands to do. It's even gonna get weirder for me, but see you guys soon. Keep it real and hope you're feeling the vibes. Peace.